Hey guys, what's up? How's it going? We're back. We're at the trade deadline. Last video, we got Gabriel Landeskog from Colorado. I think we gave up a first, uh, Marty St. Louis, and two random prospects that we're never going to use. So we're going to go to the trade deadline here. I don't really know what I'm going to go for yet, but I do want to make some improvements on the defense. I probably should have looked at the at my roster before I went into this, but whatever. Um, so right now we got only one phone, no proposals. It's okay though. We'll see if anyone's offering any players. Uh, I don't want any of those guys. They're all grandpas. What else do I want? I wouldn't mind getting Mikhail Grigorenko as a future prospect. Let's see if they want anyone. Skaters matching block. Um, Chris Neal. Colin Greening maybe. No, his trade piles or his uh, trade pile. I'm thinking of Hut. His uh, trade uh, v value is way too high. So they're giving away Kipper. I can go get Kippers off. That wouldn't be bad. What's his salary like? Salary is Kippers off. 5'3", two years. He's only 36. He is an elite goalie. I could have Craig Anderson straight up and by the time, because they want Craig Anderson, and by the time that Kiprasov is ready to call her quits, hang up the skates, we'll have Robin Lehner, who's four stars. He'll be he'll be uh, ready to take over the starting goal. He's 26 and 20 in the minors, six uh, shutouts. That's pretty good. So would this work? Should we try this? Yeah, not gonna work. Okay. So the value, I could add a draft pick or add a no-name prospect like we did to get a uh, Landeskog. I think if we add a goalie and a defenseman in this uh, trade thing, in this trade deadline, I think we'll be set. Maybe just squeak in the, in the, in the playoffs. I'm not sure. So Kiprasov, let's go Anderson, and I don't want to give him Cody CC. Mark my thought. Let's give him a... Yeah, they don't want any of our uh, grinders or our uh, prospects. Give him Colin Greening, but... It, you need guys like this, and he's capable of getting you know almost 20 goals. Ah, give Colin Greening and probably get the trade, no problem. Give him Chris Neal, but I like Chris Neal. He's a good guy to have. Uh, Peter Wyruck or whatever his name is. Let's see this. I can give him this guy as a minor top four. Might be something, but maybe not. And I don't think that'll go through. Yeah, and too many players. Shit. So I did get their worst player, which would be this 34-year-old Stefan Bijan. Or Big Ann, whatever. I can give him a second rounder for this year. So let's go Craig Anderson, Patrick Wyrock, or whatever his name is, uh, and a second round pick for Steve Bejan and Mika Kippersoff. We'll go through. Yes, so we got Kipper. There's a starting goalie. I didn't, I f kind of feel like I gave up on Craig Anderson, but I didn't because he just, I don't know, he's only 82 overall, and Kipper's 87 overall, and he's an elite in goalie. So I think that'll be a good move for us. That was a decent move. I probably could have snuck in a draft pick there, but regardless, uh, that is decent. Um, I might even put Ben Bishop in the minors because he is. I mean, Robin Lehner is listed as a, a backup. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna bring him up. I'm gonna put Robin or Ben Bishop in the. Mi oh, f oh, fuck! He's claiming our team. That's okay. He's only Ben Bishop. He wasn't even that good. So let's see here. I kind of wish I didn't put him to the minors. Let's go best line series. We have Kipper and Lane are going through. So totally redid our goaltending, which is good. Now let's go for a defenseman. I don't want to give away any more picks or nothing. So let's see our other trades. Andrew Shaw for Danny Cleary. Uh, Detroit stole that. Danny, Danny Cleary is like 40 years old. And Andrew Shaw is a pretty good player. So Hawks fans, I don't know what you guys were doing or what your GM was doing. Uh, so no one's coming after us, probably because I didn't update the trade block, which is fine. So let's see here, Silverberg, uh, let's see, I want some defensemen, that's what I need. Uh, let's see, yeah, and then Roman Hammer, look, I mean, he would help out, but he's only, he's not that good, and he's kind of old, so let's pass on Mr. Roman Hammerlick. I mean, I want some defensemen that can help now, I don't want some prospect defensemen, that's what everyone's giving up, and I mean, it'd be nice to get some prospect defensemen. Let's go Lubomir versus I'd probably get in for absolutely nothing, like a fourth round pick or something, if they're interested in picks. A third? No. Yeah, that was, that was dumb. I should have thought that it was uh, the cap. So, Buffalo acquired Patty Ilyash. Blah, blah. So, I'm getting more comfortable doing this stuff. I uh, Last couple commentaries have been pretty crappy. 
I've just been really, really nervous, and I might explain why I'm all nervous in another video, or if you guys want to know, but yeah, hopefully I'm getting a little bit better at this anyways, uh, who are we going to here, New York Islanders, and I added some music in some other videos, and, and some people didn't like it, so said no for the music, it was just a, a friend that makes music that I have, uh, let's see here, a me pretty good Mark Strait. I'd rather Mark Strait than Lubomir Wisniewski because he has a better contract, if I read that right. Skater's giving away, let's see. Yeah, I mean, Mark Strait and Lubomir Wisniewski, uh, Strait's got 4.8 for one more year, and he's a, a, year, a year younger, and Wisniewski is 6.59 at one year, but he is a year older. I think I'm going to go for Strait, uh, Strait for a third, I don't think that'll go through, I don't really want to waste another uh, pick. Or uh, uh, another phone, sorry. Um, I mean, I don't want to give any more roster players. I don't want to give any more prospects. So it's like we're kind of screwed on that front. Don't really know what to do. Hmm. <sighs> Let's see here. I might just do a third and then a third from a year. I won't use like this thir two thirds. And let's start like. We'll go three thirds for Mark Strait? No. Let's try two thirds for Mark Strait. And if it doesn't go through, I'm not going to get a defenseman. Maybe I'll get one on waivers or something. Yeah, too far off. That's, that's okay. Uh, our defense can get retooled in the offseason. I'm just going to try to make a playoff run. I mean, defense isn't terrible. I'm not even going to do another trade. Let's see if there's any waiver pickups. Yeah, nothing. Okay, so let's go to our team here. I thought I wasn't even recording there. I was all nervous. <laughs> Uh, so I'm going to put Levy Landeskog on the first line because I want him to get as good as possible. And our thir third and fourth lines I'm not really liking too much because they're pretty weak. I mean, they're like a grindy-ass fourth or, yeah, third and fourth line. It's not terrible, but it could be a lot better. Um, let's see here, defense. I mean, Chris Phillips, I'm going to put Gonchar there because I like the offensive defenseman. And why is my thought there? Yeah, so Carlson and with uh, Sergey Gonchar one-two punch, which is fine. Yeah, it's all dandy. I'm gonna give Alfie first line minutes on the power play, and goaltender going with Kipper and Robin Lehner. Uh, I want Robin Lehner to get good as possible, so I'm gonna give him a start every, you know, like a two to w or a two win, one loss kind of th kind of thing here. So let's see how we are with the new look, kind of new look, new goaltending look, Ottawa Senators. So let's see if we get a win here right off the bat. Come on, there we go, 6-2. Perfect, okay. So we're kind of rolling. We kind of struggled a little bit. I mean, there's more W's than L's there, so that's always a, a good sign. But let's go all the way up to Columbus, the lonely Columbus Blue Jackets. So I could talk about the NHL in this. I could talk about HUD. I could talk about anything. So I'm kind of getting more comfortable into this stuff. I, uh... I lost a couple subscribers. I don't know if that because my it was my commentary was crappy or what, but uh, yeah, I'm really enjoying doing this. We got our f first loss of Kiprasov era. That's uh, our second loss. Uh oh, but I'm really enjoying doing this. It's a lot of fun for me. I eat, sleep, breathe hockey, and uh, hopefully I can get somewhere with this. It's kind of just like a, a side project. Yeah, I'm gonna start uh, Robin Lehner here. He's lost two of his last three. Let's go Robin Laner. I'm going to start making these videos longer, too. They take longer to render, but if I do them during the night, I can just put them when I go to bed, and I'll wake up, and I can upload them. I might do two at a time and two at a time. I'd like to get your guys' feedback, although I have noticed that my Hut stuff is getting, getting a lot more uh, views, which is fine, because I know that people like Hut more than GM, but I kind of want to stay away from Hut, because I'm just frustrated with Hut. But anyways, this is not Hut. This is GM. So where are we in the East here? We are... Where are we? We're 12th in the East, so playoffs. Uh, how many games do we have left? 3, 4, 6, 9, 13. 13 games left. I don't think it's going to happen. I mean, if we run the table and go get a, a win for each game, probably, but I don't think it's going to happen, especially if we start Robin Laner. So I'm going to give Robin Laner two starts against the mighty powerhouse Montreal Canadiens, which probably isn't fair, giving him his first NHL start against the second team in the East. Then we'll go against uh, Columbus. So let's see what Robin Laner's made of. Ah, 3-2 win. There you go, Robin Laner, goalie of the, f the future. He's really good in real life, if you guys ever get a chance to check out uh, Ottawa's goaltending. 
prospects. He's really, really good. He's playing right now, actually, because Craig Anderson is injured. Let's go defenseman in the O for six weeks. Let's put him in again, see if he can get another win. Took a drink. Let's see. Come on. Ah, look at that. 3 nothing. So we're 2-0 oh in the Robin Lander experiment. I'm going to give him two more games because he has earned it. Shut out in his second NHL game. It's not too bad. I don't even know if that was a win. I have to go back and check. Ah, he was going to do another game. Yeah, I lost. Two losses in a row. Switch him out. See what we get in the playoffs. If we even make the playoffs. If we don't if we make the playoffs, I'll do I'll stop it here and I will upload this. And if we don't, I'm gonna do another video of just the off season. So let's go one, two. So stop when we have five games left and we will see where we are. Uh, I don't think the playoffs are obtainable. We had too bad of a start. We kinda turned it around. Okay, look at that. Alfredson's leading our team, thirty one goals. Grandpa Alfie still got it in him. 32 goals for almost a 40-year-old. That's pretty good, especially on the second line, too, because Landis Cox getting all the first line minutes. Uh, 32, 34, and 9. Definitely need some improvement. Hopefully next year we'll be a better team. Bank on a pretty decent draft pick this year. Let's see if we get a win. Yeah, I mean, we've been getting wins, but it's just that start we had. It was so bad. Uh, lost against the Leafs. I put Laner in here. 41 and 30. I'll put Laner against... Philadelphia, or no, I'll put him against the last game of the year. Let's go. I might give him the last two starts if Kipper shits the bed here. I hope Kipper doesn't get too bad during this offseason because I want him to be my starter for next year. 2 nothing. So I just want to get to a 500 record. That would be good. I had two, two consecutive sh shutouts. So we're at pretty much three consecutive shutouts. Yeah, I got to run the table with Kipper here. He's showing us what he's made of. Come on. I really think Kipper needs to leave Calgary in real life, though. He, uh, I don't know, he's he's getting old, and I, I would want to see him win a cup. Same with uh, Ginla. So we do finish with a positive record, but I don't think we made the playoffs. Yeah, we're in 11th place. So most of the season we were in 15th, which is terrible, and then we kind of improved once we got the Landis Cog trade. So what are our... Oh, I didn't even... Uh, put Ben Bishop in the minors. That might have hurt our the mining the minor league team. Special star. He's not even the starter. Oh, he got he got claimed off waivers. What am I talking about? The um. So Nathan Lawson is our starter in the minors, nineteen and seventeen. That sucked about Ben Bishop, but whatever. That's okay, I guess. So their season's still going on. Let's go here. Let's go see when the playoffs start so I can check all the stuff here. Yeah, the Android Wager season has ended. At the beginning of the year, I told you I was after th 38 wins a season. You only got 37. Oh, cry me a river. That isn't acceptable. I won't tolerate these types of seasons. So if I would have got one more win, you would have been happy. Come on. My owner's a dick. Uh, let's go see playoff stats. Nope, not playoff. We didn't make the playoffs. Player stats season. Let's see who performed this year, who needs to go. I know I need to upgrade the defensive core. That will happen. So Spezza had a pretty good year, 79 points. Landy also had a pretty good year too, 65. Mahalik, pretty decent, could be a lot better. You think he's more of a second liner. I could have had Alfredson up there. He had the exact same amount of points. Ginla, yeah, it's fine. Carlson, awesome, f almost a 50-point year. Tourist kind of stepped it up to 40 points for a second liner. That's not too bad. He'll probably get a lot better next year. Gonchar, yeah, that's fine. And everyone else, we had decent stores. And Mike Lindeen didn't score all year. <laughs> that's okay. Um, rookie goalie, so Robin Lehner went 2-2 two and two with a 3.35 goals against. He had one shutout. He'll be a lot better next year. And Kipper, he definitely played better when he came to us. I don't remember what his uh, stats was when he came over to us, but he went 30 and 20. How many shutouts did he have? Nine shutouts. So he's just that kind of goalie. He's really good uh, all around. Let's go see NHL here. Where am I going? I'm going the wrong way. NHL, where are we at? NHL's who led the league in wins. Uh, Mark andre Fleury with Powerhouse Penguins. Yeah, no surprise there. Halak, Fleury. Miller, Baxter, and Price, Crawford, Niemi, and Thomas. Yep. And Thomas on the Islanders did did good. I hate Tim Thomas just from the fact that I'm a Canucks fan and I don't 
I think he's too c c cocky, not going to the White House and all that crap. Uh, so Vishnowski, the guy who tried to go after, led the league in uh, d d defensive points with 51. And Mark Strait had 49. So their old guys are doing good in Long Island. And Carlson was fifth. That's, that's pretty good for Carlson. Really happy that we have him. And Zach Parisi, it looks like, like it paid off in, uh, for the Wild. The 98 million got him 112 points. That's pretty good for him. The Nuge had a pretty good year, too. He young Nuge got 50, or, uh, 85 points, 58 assists. Pretty decent. So that was that. Uh, we didn't make, make the playoffs, but next year, I'm bank on having a pretty good team. So I will cut this video here, and I'm going to do the off season in the next video. So thank you for watching. Drop me a like. Don't forget to subscribe.